Hey guys, are you looking at buying a mobile home here in Maine? Well, I'm gonna give you kind of like a how-to, step-by-step process of purchasing a mobile home. By the time you're done with this, you should be a seasoned pro. If not, let me know and I can help you out. So let's do this. All right, everybody, uh, like I said, we're gonna talk about uh, how to purchase a mobile home here in Maine. So uh, gonna jump right in here. As you know, housing prices in Maine have gone way up. We've been seeing a lot of people start to look at mobile homes because they're a great affordable option, but I just want you to be mindful of how to do it. So first thing that we got here on our list of things to talk about is determine your budget, just like buying any house or buying anything. You know, you're gonna wanna figure out exactly what you can afford, your top budget, all right? How much in a month can you spend? And you're gonna wanna be mindful of that because a lot of parks that you might choose, charge monthly fees, lease fees. So you want to be mindful of that and make sure um, that you take that into account when you start looking at those things, which kind of brings me to the next thing is researching the mobile home park. You know, obviously you can just do some Google work, figure out in the town that you want to live in or the surrounding areas, you know, just Google mobile home parks and you can start looking at them. A lot of times these mobile home parks have uh, reviews that you can look at, you know, and, uh, and maybe even talk to some homeowners in there. If you don't know, do some research that way as best you can on the computer, but if you can do some some old fashioned legwork, see if you know anybody in the mobile park and get some good feedback. Cause sometimes these parks aren't so great, like charge a lot of money for not so many services and all that stuff. So you wanna be mindful of that and make sure that you're getting a park that's gonna fit for you. Now, obtaining financing, uh, financing a mobile home can be tricky. So you are gonna wanna make sure that you look at all your options. Credit unions are usually good, giving you financing for a mobile home. A lot of the mortgage lenders are starting to be favorable to it. Historically, just like the, the straight mortgage people don't like to go down that road because technically a mobile home is personal property and you're leasing the land. So it just makes it difficult for you know somebody to give you a mortgage on it. Uh, but there are some banks and credit unions that will do that for you. You're gonna have to have some money down. So again, you're gonna wanna you know, save up some cash so you can put it down. If you have family members that can maybe help you out, you know, give you some loans and stuff like that, personal loans, things like that. Um, that's a great way to do that. One last thing regarding financing. A good thing to do is when you're researching parks, talk to them about what kind of financing options they might have. A lot of these parks have partnered with banks or they might have some of their own in-house financing that they can help you out with. And that could be extremely helpful to get you, in the, get you in that park and get you some financing that works for that specific park. So highly recommend doing that when you're doing your research about the parks. The other thing is, is look for professionals. Hire a real estate broker to help you out to find what you're looking for. And there's a lot of mobile home companies out there that you can start talking to the manufacturers and then help install it, you know, if you're going for a brand new one. And then of course, you know, once you start your search, the MLS systems in most states and especially here in Maine will list a lot of mobile homes. Again, call, just calling the parks, you might be able to find uh, properties that aren't necessarily listed, but are available just through the park. If you're working with a real estate broker, uh, we can make those phone calls for you and help you out because a lot of times these things will just sell like within the park or people that you know contact the office things like that so start your search but it's going to be a little different than searching for you know a home checking zillow and stuff like that there's a lot of like inside scoop that you can get from each individual park uh, once you've done your research if you're kind of like hey i want to live in either this park or this park stay in close contact with those offices and you might be able to find something that's off the market again real estate brokers can help you out with that as well inspect Inspecting your mobile home, you're definitely going to want to get an inspector over there to take a look at it that's familiar with mobile homes so they know everything to look at. Because typically they're not insulated as well as single family homes. The heating systems and stuff are a little different. So you want to be mindful of all of that uh, before you purchase, especially here in Maine where we have cold winters. Now, mobile homes are great and there's ways to make them more energy efficient and all that stuff. Uh, but you want to be mindful, make sure you inspect it, especially if it's an older one. You know, if it's one that's like from the 80s or 70s even, you know, you're going to want to definitely inspect it and make sure it's a solid, good mobile home that's going to work for you and your family. Of course, negotiating price. Whenever you're looking at something, try to do the best negotiation for you, whether it's price or the terms that you need regarding inspections and the financing that you need, et cetera, et cetera. Just make sure you do a good job and you have somebody looking out for you, looking out for your best interest, negotiating the whole deal for you. Um, again, we're talking about secure financing, but you are going to have to do that, of course, you know, to, to purchase it if, if you need that. If you're paying cash, it's a different story. Obviously, you're just going to be able to show proof of funds that you have the money. Uh, but if you need to secure your financing, you're going to want to do that. Paper work on a mobile home. I mean, when I when I do mobile home, we just use a normal purchase and sale agreement that we use for any house. Um, I know different parks might have their own paperwork, but 
no matter how you do a contract for sale, you are going to have a lot of paperwork with the mobile home park. Like typically you're going to have to fill out an application, get approved by the park. Usually it's not all that difficult, but you got to fill out the application and go through that. It's kind of like renting a, an apartment, so to speak, because you, you know, you're leasing the land. So same concept, but you got to fill out that application, get approved to be part of the park, all that kind of stuff. And they will ask, you for a lot of information and just be prepared for that. Uh, but that is that is part of the process. And then of course, closing, you know, it's going to close very similar to like any house, you're going to come to the closing table, there's a lot of times there's a title company, um, or a lawyer that's, you know, shifting the money around and having everybody sign the paperwork, you get the keys, off you go. If you're purchasing a brand new one, you know, of course, they'll arrange transportation to have it put in and installed. Typically, if you're doing if you're buying a brand new one, typically, I would recommend going through a distributor or a manufacturer directly, because um, then they will, th their costs will include all of it. Most of them will come and install it, hook it up, blah, 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 do all that kind of stuff. But you're going to make all those arrangements, get your keys, move in, right off into the sunset and live in a beautiful, affordable home. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions about it, let me know, you know, comment below, hit me up on social media, all that kind of stuff. And uh, remember, if you make made your home, you don't have to do it alone. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and one of these buttons over here. We get a lot of great information about real estate, the state of Maine, cool things to do, all that kind of stuff. And of course, if you have any questions at any time, comment below or hit us up on all social media platforms and we'd love to help you out. And uh, we love talking about Maine and real estate in Maine.